Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good today. Today is Monday, June 15th, and I want to come on here and talk about the NeNe Leakes drama, honey. When I tell you NeNe Leakes, okay, has been involved in a lot of fuckery lately. (laughs) So what's going down is this. As we all know, when everything first happened with George Floyd, NeNe Leakes got a lot of backlash because basically she was more worried about her boutique than actually George Floyd. And so a lot of people were really going off on her about that. So Nini took to Instagram and this is what she initially posted. She says, this is happening right now at the mall where my boutique is located. But what I do know is that you're exhausted, upset, and feel like you haven't been heard. I feel you. Let's move in love, peace, and support. Let's try to understand better. Let's think about the future and do what's right. I love us. I love you. My heart is heavy for us. Hashtag stop looting. Hashtag black power. Hashtag George Floyd. Hashtag one love. Hashtag we all we got. Hashtag ATL for life. Bring on the nasty backlash, but this ain't helping us either. Oh, cur. <laughs> so that is what she posted and people drug her like, how is it the first thing that she even mentioned about what was going on in the Twin Cities about George Floyd? How is it that you're talking about your store, but not the act that's basically getting everybody to, you know, protest and riot? And then she came back and she tried to clean it up. And she says, Atlanta is a black city built by successful black people. Our cops are black. Our chiefs are black. Our captains are black. Our judges are black. Our mayor is black. No need to burn down our city. Then she went on to further explain. So she received a lot of backlash, um, like I said, for that a few weeks ago. And so then she was also being messy last week. And people were upset about that. Because she was sending tweets like this. You guys remember back on June 8th, Nene Leakes called herself calling out fake protesters. So she says, there are people out here acting slash fronting like they are supporting the cause, but they really want you to not call them out. So they pretend to be involved, pretend to care, but they're really treating this like a PR stunt. Stop it. You just don't want to be called out. So a lot of people at that point, you know, called her out for doing the same thing. You know, you're taking pictures of yourself holding Black Lives Matter signs and and saying things about how her and her husband are compromising their immune system, but they're still out there with the people. So a lot of folks were like, okay, well, what is the difference between what you're doing and what you're accusing other celebrities of doing? You know, so people have been giving Nene the side eye ever since she said that. So then what happened is that basically yesterday she was getting drug on social media Because Nene Leakes tweeted Black Lives Matter and then attached her booking information to the tweet where people could book her for gigs. And so a lot of people called her out on that and they're like, you know what, that's not cool. Don't use Black Lives Matter to promote your, you know, personal brand. Like, come on now. And it also comes off as hypocritical because, like I said, just last week, she was calling out supposed people on her cast and other celebrities for doing this whole Black Lives Matter thing for show so they don't get caught out. But now this week you're attaching your booking info while tweeting that Black Lives Matter. So once again, people are just looking at this and they're just calling out the hypocrisy of all the things that she keeps saying, but then doing in spite the fact. Well, now this morning, everything is taking the cake because people are really upset because a new interview has leaked with Nene Leakes talking to a young gentleman. And in this um, interview, basically, she's comparing everything that happened to her at the reunion and her being supposedly ganged up on by all the women on the show to what happened to George Floyd. And this is just leaving a lot of people flabbergasted as to why she's comparing the two. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this really quick. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So why did you leave the, the, the reunion, the part three, and not come back? Um, I left at the end of part two. I, I, was, uh, not in, I was not in part three at all, okay? Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. again, we are talking about the very negative side of the show that I just mm-hmm. don't feel is necessary to do to mm-hmm. make a great show. It's, it was just mm-hmm. too negative 
One. Mm -hmm. Two, I felt mm -hmm. very ganged up on. And for all of you out there mm -hmm. who can say they don't know what ganged up on is, Google the definition of gang up. Gang up is more than one person on a person at the same time. George Floyd was ganged up on. So no, he was physically ganged up on. And I have felt verbally ganged up on many times and that is not all right so you guys just saw what she had to say and a lot of folks are coming for her on social media a lot of the blogs are also coming for her um one tweet says let me make this clear one more time nini should not have ever felt comfortable enough to put george floyd's murder in a sentence in regards to her being ganged up on on the real housewives of atlanta I said what I said. Hope you all have a great day. So a lot of people are really offended by this. And, you know, at this point, I think Nene has been doing too much. She may want to back away from social media, you know, chill out with the interviews because, again, it's always something for her to try and compare her situation to George Floyd is an insult. At the end of the day, regardless of these women so-called ganged up on you, that's what you signed up for when you decide to go on to this reality TV show. And what I don't understand is when people have money and you're rich, if this is so bad, why keep subjugating yourself to the bullshit? If this is so horrible and these women are stressing you out and, you know, they're, they're doing all this stuff to you, why even be on the show? Why not quit? She's been taught my quitting since January, but she's still on the show. I mean, the fact that she's comparing apples to oranges makes no sense. She literally gets a check regardless of her being ganged up on or not. This man didn't ask to be ganged up on. He didn't sign up for this. And most importantly, he's no longer here. So I thought that was just a really shitty comparison. And I just think at this point in time, she needs to take personal responsibility for why she's continuously putting herself and her peace of mind in a situation that she doesn't want to be in. If it's that bad, then remove yourself from the situation. At the end of the day, none of these women are innocent. You know, the fact that they just continue the BS, the beefing, the shade throwing on social media. Most of the women on the show are grown and in their 50s. So why even put it with the headache? And none of these women are innocent. Nene included. They all throw shade. They all gossip and backbite behind each other's backs. And they've all ganged up on different women throughout the seasons. So it's funny that now that it's her receiving the supposed gang up on, now it's an issue. But at the end of the day, if the show bothers you that much, if it's such a bad place to be, quit. Pure point blank. But to compare her situation to George Floyd's situation, especially given all the things that she's done over the past few weeks, like when she first came out to speak about it, her calling out other celebrities who were out there protesting and her trying to attach her book into Black Lives Matter, this is just not a good look, okay? So I think the whole situation is just really crazy. But at this point in time, she needs to decide what she wants to do. And if that means leaving the show for good, then that's what she needs to do. Because at this point, you can't continue to keep complaining about a situation but then you have no problem also benefiting from that situation as well so now nini leaks is not the only celebrity slash influencer coming under fire for using black lives matter george floyd's name and things like that for clout there's also been a new phenomenon of not only white celebrities but white influencers they're not being blasted for using black lives matter to protest to gain clout and followers if you guys do not know several influencers were blasted over the past few days there's a video of a female that went viral and basically she makes her boyfriend take a picture of her in front of a smashed out t-mobile store so that way you know she could get you know cloud and hashtag black lives matter this girl is making her boyfriend take a picture of her in front of a smashed t-mobile <gasps> oh my god Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, boyfriends of Instagram. Good job, guys. BLM. What? Other people have been seen bringing chairs and, and, you know, making people stand away from them while they get the perfect shot. 
people doing whole photo shoots in front of boarded up buildings, photo shoots with Black Lives Matter signs, you know, and what's so funny is that a lot of these people, celebrities and influencers alike, never really spoke about racial injustice, never really spoke about all of the stuff that's going on in this country, but now that people don't want their brands affected, they don't want people canceling them. What's up? Hey tea sippers, to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.